Hello there, Stan the Annuity Man, America's annuity agent here with you. And you have typed in and looking for the answer to what is a hybrid annuity? That's a good question. Typically when people say, what's a hybrid? I say, well, it's a mattress, it's a, you know, it's a car, it's a plant. But in today's annuity selling environment, people are starting to make up words to sell annuities instead of calling the annuities what they are. They're saying, hey, buy my hybrid annuity. In essence, to answer your question in a short form, but I'm gonna go into the longer form later, so hang in there with me. Hybrid annuity is typically attached to a sales pitch for a fixed index annuity. So the question is, why are they using the word hybrid? Hang in there with me because Stan knows and I'm getting ready to tell you. Okay, so hybrid annuity. You know, someone called me the other day and they said, Stan, uh, what's the best hybrid annuity out there? Or what's the best hybrid? Actually, they didn't say annuity. They said, what's the best hybrid? Anyone that asked me that, I'll say Toyota right now, but Honda's really close. I hate it when the industry or agents use words to kind of polish up a contract. When they start saying the word hybrid, they're really, in most cases, saying indexed annuity. So the question is, what is an indexed annuity? So let's go over that quickly and then I'll go to the beloved whiteboard and I'll kind of draw it out so you can understand what they're saying. Hybrid annuity, fixed index annuity is really what it is. It's a fixed annuity that returns CD type rates even though that, that's not what you're going to hear. You're going to hear market upside with no downside. You're going to hear market participation with principal protection. There's only half of that's true. There's full principal protection but you know, an index annuities were developed in 1995 to compete with CD returns and that's what they do. Now, in my world, I use indexed annuities typically as a delivery system for what's called an income rider, which is an income benefit. But let's take a little bit more deeper dive into why agents and advisors are using the word hybrid and why you should kind of filter that out. And when they say it, you're gonna say, okay, I understand why they are saying that. So hang in there with me, let me get my pen. All right, trusty pen, here we go. So hybrid, when they say the word hybrid, to me they're saying multiple benefits. But if that's the case, then every single annuity out there, type, has multiple benefits. In my world, an immediate annuity could have multiple benefits, so that could be a hybrid, but that's not how they're using it. They're saying this, and they're saying, okay, here's your fixed index annuity, right? Which is a CD product. Oh, by the way, that's what it's returned since 1995. But they're saying, okay, you're gonna get a return, and, and they're saying market return. I'm saying, because I'm a realist, and I understand this, and I'm standing the annuity man, America's annuity agent, and number one guy out here, and I understand these products, and actually written a book on this, Here's your CD type returns. And then they're saying, then you get an income benefit, which is a separate account that you can use for future income. And it's at some high percentage that makes you think that Jimmy Carter's in office. He's not in office, he's building homes, okay? So there's no high interest rate. You're gonna say, hey, you know, people call me, all the guy called me all the day, hey, Stan, I'm getting an 8% annuity. I just bought an 8% annuity. No, you bought an 8% writer that is monopoly money that you can only use to calculate your first income payment. And then what they'll say, okay, so you get this and you get this. And then the third thing you get is what's called confinement care benefits, which a lot of people mistakenly say long-term care. And that's a, you know, a little bit more income if you get sicker. In essence, you get your money back quicker when you get sicker. Remember that. So with all of this being said, they're saying, okay, it does a lot of things, so let's call it a hybrid. <laughs> I don't know how that works, but hybrid just means multiple benefits, but just understand that all annuities have multiple benefits. For instance, a multi-year guarantee annuity, fixed rate annuity is multiple benefits. It gives you principal protection, there's no annual fees, and it gives you guaranteed interest rate for the rest of your life. Single premium immediate annuity in a hybrid world, right? Lifetime income stream and principal protection from the standpoint of we can structure so that all of the money will go to either you or your family if you die early, even though the annuity company is on the hook to pay you for the rest of your life. You can also attach what's called a COLA, cost of living adjustment, multiple benefits. So hybrid 
it's a car, it's a plant, it's a mattress, but when people are starting to use it to sell annuities, just say, hey, ho, 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 stop with the hybrid nonsense. What type of annuity are you talking about? Okay, so let's play their silly game of calling it a hybrid, all right? So when would the, quote, multiple benefit annuity, AKA hybrid in their world, they meaning the agents that are trying to polish this up, when does that make sense? Let's look at the indexed annuity, which is most likely what they're pitching and how that might make sense to you. So in a hybrid world, <laughs> multiple benefits. So let's just put multiple benefit, right? So what are the multiple benefits that you could get out of this type of product? Number one, principal protection, okay? Number two, you can get what's called an income rider attached to it, which is a future benefit, a future income benefit that you can structure to pay for the rest of your life. The third thing from a multiple benefit standpoint is you could get what's called a confinement care benefit rider that's attached to your income benefit rider. And all that means is when you can't do, typically, a lot of them have a lot of different formulas on how it increases, but when you get sicker, they'll increase the income stream based upon like two of the six daily functions. Some of them are like that. Other ones have different parameters that you have to meet for them to increase the the income stream, but it's a guaranteed issue benefit. So you can get principal protection, income benefit, uh, confinement care benefit. And then, you know, some of them will have number four that, you know, look at it. The principal protection all comes with CD type returns. And I know that when you're at the bad chicken dinner seminar and the guy's saying hybrid, they're talking about market type returns. It just doesn't work that way. The planets don't align themselves that way. Uh, historically, maybe one year or so, you might get a little bit better return than a CD, but overall, an indexed annuity, which they're calling a hybrid, is more of a CD type product since 1995. But where does it fit? Where does a multiple benefit annuity fit? It fits here when you need these type of things, principal protection, income, possibly a confinement care, and then CD type returns that lock in every year and don't go down you know, that's a good thing. So if you're looking for multiple benefits, maybe this is a way to go. Variable annuities have similar type of multiple benefits as well. So don't fall for the pitch, as I always tell people. There's no perfect answers to annuities, just bad sales pitches, right? These are contracts. So understand what the contract says and what the annuity is going to do. Own an annuity for what it will do, not what it might do, and not the back-tested, hypothetical, theoretical, projected, hopeful agent return scenarios that you see all the time. Own it for these, these multiple benefit scenarios that's contractually in the policy. Remember that. Yeah, I have the back, my name on the back, right? Annuity man, number one, exactly. I am the number one guy out here, and for a reason. I'm brutally factual about these products. I feel kind of where you're at because you're getting hit with all these sales messages. Your advisor's telling you this, and you go to the bad chicken dinner seminar and they're telling you this. You see some ad on radio or TV or something like that that just sounds too good to be true. I understand it. Just remember this, and this is very important. If it sounds too good to be true, it is. Every single time with annuities, period. No exceptions. If you can just understand that when you hear the pitch, you'll come out ahead because you won't fall for the dream. You won't fall for the unicorns chasing the butterflies. The other thing that I would tell you to do, and this is the only protection that you have, if someone's pitching you something, write down exactly what they say to you the way that you understand it, all right? Write it down in detail. Sign and date it at the bottom, flip that page around, and have them sign it, whoever pitched that to you two things are gonna happen. Either that pen is gonna weigh a thousand pounds or they're gonna sign it and own it and then you, you got them in essence, which is not good, but there's a lot of people out there selling the sizzle, not the steak. So that's what I would tell you to do. Just be careful out there. Now I have done another video, um, how does a fixed index annuity work? I go into the details of that without using the word hybrid and I would encourage you to take a look at that. If you want to see an indexed annuity type quote uh, with an income rider, we can do that. Go to standingannuityman.com. I've also written books on income riders and indexed annuities, which I will send you for free if you go to the site. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Stan the Annuity Man YouTube channel, and I'm putting these videos out every single day, Monday through Friday, to educate the public so that they understand how these contracts, and yes, I did say contracts, i.e. annuities, work. 
see you next time.